it. Call it history in slow motion. This museum exhibition tells the Brexit story, reliving the referendum three years ago, all the emotion that came with it, and how little it solved. Nothing's changed. Like, we all still are extremely on edge. We're at a very tense point, and this is history. Brexit is history. Order! And this story looks to be going on even longer. Questions to the Prime With the Prime Minister, Minister caught in a Brexit you, deadlock and reluctantly Speaker, asking April the opposition years. for help. But I think I'm right in saying that the leader of the opposition and I both want to ensure that we leave the European Union with a deal. Their closed door meetings appear stalled. We haven't ended the talks with the government yet. There's been no obvious move on the side of the government. So with the risk of a cliff edge a week away, Theresa May is forced to choose between a hard Brexit and another delay. This place shows no sign of agreeing to any deal. We should just leave the European Union because that's what 17.4 million people voted for. The European Council president is floating a plan he's calling a flextension. It would allow Britain to delay Brexit by up to a year or leave sooner if MPs here finally approve the Prime Minister's divorce deal. She's got other ideas. Today, May released this letter to the EU demanding the exit period should end on the 30th of June. It is frustrating, she writes, that we have not yet brought this process to a successful and orderly conclusion. If we can't find a way through with Parliament, then we have no choice, but it's not our first choice. European leaders have denied the British Prime Minister the extension she wanted before, and they could do it again. This story's still unfolding. Who knows for how much longer? Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.